Hello everyone, and a happy new year wherever you may be watching. Just hours into 2021, and we already have the first significant sumo result of the year. Tetsuya Ochiai, remember him from the Hakuho Cup, has become National High School Yokozuna in just his second year at Johoku High. Ochiai smashed through a host of tough foes in the New Year's Day All Japan Schools Tournament in Tachikawa, finishing with Shoichiro Takeda of Saitama Sakae. Interviewed soon afterwards, hulking powerhouse Ochiai said, Coronavirus stopped us all from doing the things we wanted, but despite that, Coach Ishiura and his team prepared a place for us to train, meaning I could practice enough even in the absence of tournaments. I think I only output 80% of my power today. In 2021, I will try to move into a league of my own. NHK's commentator opined he's easily good enough to turn pro now, but added Johoku are understandably very keen to keep him. In other fight news, ex-second division man Takano Fuji won his second mixed martial arts bout on New Year's Eve against Minoa Man. Saitama's Super Arena saw him utilize his 32 kilo weight advantage before sending his foe to the mat with four low kicks, then ending the match with the same right fist that caused his dismissal from sumo. That happened after barely three minutes. I came here to fight for 15, so I feel a bit short-changed, said Takano Fuji, now known as Sudario Tsuyoshi, afterwards, and sporting his new fade haircut dyed in brown. I want to spend 2021 crushing Japanese heavyweights, he added, sounding rather different to how he did in his sumo interviews. Finally, as I mentioned briefly in my other post today, Waka Takakage tested positive for the virus on New Year's Eve. And I can now report that his older brother Wakamoto Haru has tested positive, as has stablemaster Arashio, the ex Sokokudai, and nine other stable members, including a hairdresser. Three of the victims are understood to have a light fever. The other 12 members of the stable have tested negative. However, an at least 10-day isolation period from yesterday or today will take us into the January tournament, which has prompted sumo press chief Shibatayama to suggest that similar to the Tamanoi men last September, the Arashio men will not compete in January 2021. And that's not the half of Shibatayama's worries. He revealed in the same interview that the Tokyo government is mooting a second declaration of emergency, which would mean no fans being allowed in. We'd still like to put on something, he said, doubtless to save the 5 million plus in broadcasting revenues from NHK and ABIMA. But even those fees won't stop Sumo's 55 million deficit from rising. I promise to keep you posted.